Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about a feature that's been around for a long time. Uh, I just haven't got uh, around to a video before now. Uh, and so that is auto negotiation of maximum port speed advertisement. And so basically what that means is um, when, a, when an interface auto negotiates with its neighbor, um, you know, normally it's going to auto negotiate at the speed of the port. So if it's a gig port, it's going to send its neighbor um, its, uh, its capabilities being gig uh, or lower. Um, and so what this does is it forces a maximum speed in the advertisement. So, for example, if we look at this diagram here, you've got a client device on the right side that will auto negotiate at gigabit. Um, and that's fine. It's a gig port on the switch. However, in this particular circumstance, the internet connection is only 100 megabit. So um, in order to get around that, you can have the interface advertise only 100 megabit so that you don't have that bottleneck at the, at the uh, internet interface. Um, alternatively, say you're a service provider and you sell 10 megabit circuits or you sell 100 megabit circuits, you don't want your clients to negotiate a gig, you want them to negotiate at the speed that they're paying for. So in case you're wondering, you know, why wouldn't I just use rate limiting? And for sure, rate limiting is more granular. You can set it, you know, to, to, um, to the exact number that you want it to. However, uh, the, the issue with rate limiting is the interface and the client still thinks that they can go the port speed, right? So, so if, if they negotiate, if they auto negotiate at gig, um, then, you know, they think they can send a gig of traffic and the switch will then rudely uh, drop all of their traffic beyond the rate limit for the remainder of the second. And then the next second that that cycle starts over again. Um, but basically, you're just throwing away their traffic. So doing it this way, you are setting the port speed to 100 megabit or 10 megabit or whatever the case. And then the client device knows that it can't send any more than that speed down that interface. So it's not uh, dropping and having to resend uh, traffic. So we'll have a look at the uh, console. Um, it's secure CRT as usual, but uh, this is a 7150. And um, so first, let's look at one of the interfaces. So if we do a show interface Ethernet 111, uh, we can see here that this interface is up and up. Uh, and it is configured speed is auto. The actual speed is one gig, and it's full duplex. Um, and so we're going to, following the previous example, we are going to set the maximum auto negotiation advertisement to the neighbor as 100 meg, and we'll see that we'll see that port speed change, you know, immediately. So, um, what we're going to do is go into config t, and this is going to be a global command, but you can set multiple ports at once. So it's it's actually link dash control, uh, link dash config, excuse me. Uh, and then in this case, it's gig. So as I said, it's a 7150, so it only applies to copper ports on the 7150. Um, and then it's auto negotiation control. Uh, and then you can set 100 meg auto uh, or 10 meg auto. So we'll go 100 meg dash auto. Uh, and then which ports you want it to apply to. So I could apply it to you know, a range of ports, so 1112, 11, you know, 12, I can apply to all the ports on the switch at once or individual ports, however you want to do it. Um, you can apply it to a lag, you can do a range, as I said. So we're just going to apply it to 111. So I've set that to advertise to the neighbor, which happens to be an access point in this case, uh, that its maximum available speed is 100 meg. So now if I do a show interface uh, E111, I'm going to see that it's still its speed is still auto, but it's negotiated to 100 megabit full duplex. So 
on its own, it advertised out to the AP that it could do a maximum of 100 meg, and then the AP uh, continued that negotiation and, and came up at 100 meg. So the uh, same thing obviously would happen at 10 meg, um, and you know on the on the higher switch models, the 72, 74, 75, 76, 78 uh, uh, models, then you can also negotiate on fiber. So, um, but basically that's it. So. It, you know, the beauty of it is you're not using rate limiting, you're not throwing away packets and having the uh, clients resend your rate limiting just to the maximum you want to send it to. So not as granular as rate limiting or rate shaping, of course, but, uh, you know, a fast way. It's done in hardware, doesn't take any CPU resources, and both ends agree on what the maximum is they're going to send. So a good, easy way to make that happen. All right, so uh, thanks for joining and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.